Hello everyone, welcome to Talent and Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to reverse the string using the string buffer. So in last tutorial, you saw using the for loop how we reverse the string. So here we are going to solve same program but using the string buffer. So for that we need a string input. That means always a string will start with double quotes. So I am going to get input again A, B, C, D. Now we need to get output like D, C, B, A. Correct? This is the just reverse of this input. So now we are going to solve using the string buffer. So what is a string buffer? Actually, string buffer is just similar to a string, but you can modify the value. So what we can do? First of all, we need input. So that input will be type of a string. So I break it out like a string. Input equal to what? A, B, C, D. See, I'm just using here a static input value. You can use a scanner class. You can ask input from the user. If you don't know how to ask input from the user, I have already created the video. Please check in the description. Now what we can do, we have to declare a string buffer and you can say here sb, you can give any name, it is like object name equal to what? New a string buffer and here we need to pass our input. Okay. So if you open this class, you can see here a string buffer and if you little bit scroll up java.language package name is there, right? And this is the jar. Now what we can do, just use here system.println, here just use sb.reverse. Actually it is a predefined function in the string buffer. If you scroll your mouse, you can see here, they have mentioned all the details. Now if you run this program, you can see right, we are getting output as a dcba, correct? So if you want to understand how this function is working, what you can do, you can open this one. And you can see they already created the super method. You have to just open that one and you can see right the logic is already they have given here. So this is a way to reverse the string using the string buffer. 